Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another WrestlePlug Watch Along. Myself, Aaron X, and of course, the Maple Leaf magician, Kyle Wilkinson. And this time around, I've given Kyle Wilkinson the opportunity to choose what we will be watching. Kyle Wilkinson, why don't you tell the lovely people from WrestlePlug what we're going to be watching along to today? Well, it's World of Sport from, it doesn't have a year, but I'm assuming it's from back in the day because Johnny Sade. I think I only recognize him as being a figurehead of NXT UK if I remember yes. correctly. So it, we have Johnny Saint against uh, Fit Finley. This, uh, this should be saucy. It should be technical. It should be hard hitting. Uh, none of these matches we've seen prior, or if we have, it's been so long ago that we don't remember, but we try and pick fresh matchups every single time. And of course, don't forget, if you leave in the comments below what you'd like to see us watch, we will endeavor to cover it as well. Copyright, obviously, uh, excluding, because some of these videos, obviously, are not available via YouTube network and that's kind of what we're going for so if it's on youtube and you can find it send it to us and we will most definitely review it for you in one of our watch alongs carl wilkinson are you ready to delve into the world of sport i'm actually really excited for this this should be very very good get yourself ready ladies and gentlemen get your snacks ready in three two one play oh. um huh. <laughs> Oh, the village people are here. I didn't realize they were part of this. <laughs> Look at that mustache. In the Navy. Secret of a man in the Navy. Oh, it's a bit camp, isn't it? It's not quite Chief, Chief Joe Strongbow, is it? <laughs> well, exactly. I'll tell you what. He's a lot better to look at than uh, Tatonka is. I'll give you that one. <clears throat> what, what look, look at the state of that vest. Johnny Saints, here we come. Oh, wow. Johnny Saints. So, just so simple, you know? So gritty. Something like a row with some embroiderment. Hey, what? Crowd is red off. He's bad boy. Oh, yeah, Finley, get him. Shake your fist at him. Why is Finley next to a. Uh, Native American cosplay woman, so to speak? How well dressed is the announcer, mate? Right? Impeccable. Eight rounds of three minutes each. Eight rounds of three minutes. The best two out of three pinfalls or submissions or the one knockout. I introduced you coming from the red corner over here on my left. Presented, of course, she have red and blue corners. Beautiful. The crowd don't give a shit. They do not like her, do they? She must be good at getting heat. And also from the red corner, Dave Fit Finlay. Finlay! Aw, oh, isn't it cool that his son wrestles with that name now? Yeah. Again, I seem to have made Might be his real name for all I know, but still quite cool. That we have the British How nice is that belt, mate? The British heavyweight champion. British heavy middleweight champion. Oh, middleweight, excuse and me. Then, from the yeah, blue hey, corner, us super heavyweights, mate. We have our own class. Thank you very much. Just two words. Johnny <laughs> <laughs> they love him. They do love him. Big face. Yeah, but this is back in the time when people actually loved their heroes and hated their villains. And also thought that they were genuinely going to kick the shit out of each other. They think this is a real fight. And that's where the, I think, the round-based stuff really works beautifully. It's a shame because it isn't translated well enough in NXT UK anymore. Although I do like the fact that the majority of the rules are still pretty decent and honest just, uh, to what we're doing you know what we were doing back then for instance it's still two out of three falls it's still three minute rounds have to say about that. oh she wants to kick him right in his wounded knees oh yeah <laughs> like a finley standing up for the woman like a proper heel <laughs> you can tell it's a different time can't you? yeah how dare you shove a man when he's in the face of a woman <laughs> Also, that incredible mullet Finley's got going for himself. That is a stunning mullet, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I'll tell you what I'm really excited about for this. It's the fact that, because Johnny Saint is, like you say, he's that guy that everybody just knows as that old man from NXT UK. Now people who watch this are going to get an opportunity to see what Johnny Saint was all about. 
By the way, fit Finley, considering how far back this is. Look at his tights, mate. Still looking fantastic and professional. It's a legend. Mind you, that's back when people actually got their money's worth when they bought things. Seamstresses were incredibly talented. Not to say they're not now. It's just that back then there was a lot more craftsmanship to it. Yeah, I feel there's probably like a lot of mass production nowadays, but... Yeah, it depends on what you're getting. Like, a lot of it is kind of like we have a base template and then we still, Like, it's still an incredibly difficult craft, which I think is why they charge so much. But I can't help but feel that you don't quite get as much for your money as you would back in those days. Plus, back then, it was a real identity to have unique types of things of that nature. It was only really in Lucha Libre that that was a big thing where people had different colours and very unique identities. A lot of people had very basic trunks and that. Notice how there's no knee pads as well for... Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That is so smooth. Man, if John Cena tried to do that, his knees would implode. I think if Kevin Nash tried to do that, he'd die. I mean, to be fair, Kevin Nash, I mean, his quads do explode on impact. Like, and by impact, I mean when his foot hits the ground when he walks. <laughs> Although, to his credit, I have seen Kevin Nash on social media, and he is, he is jacked. So at least he's keeping himself in good yeah. shape for his age. Oh, dude, don't kiss the woman on the other side. Dave O'Brien did that, and it didn't work mm. out. I remember that. Although he's Irish, so he should know when someone's going to get the jump on him. I love the fact her name's Pauline. <laughs> Native American woman, Pauline. Listen to the crowd, mate. They love Man, they're it. hard as hell. Just under a minute to go. I think I'm seeing the all-star promotions thing in the corner. Oh, that's so cool, man. Beautiful double wrestling. See, there was never old school like wrestling shows like this in Canada when I was young. Or even I think back in the day, there was nothing really like this. That I think that's why Britain has such an incredible identity, though, because it was it was very much Britain, Germany, um, those and Japan, which were the kind of real true. Like, uh, you know, unless you're in the kind of American WWF or whatever. Um, those were the free territories where you got a lot of the purest style of wrestling. Where the entertainment was that big in the Jesus Christ. Oh, mate, do you see that? Holy shit. Like, I struggled to do flip bumps. And Fit Finley, from a standard position, just did, like, literally the most textbook flip bump you could ever take. Cracking first round there. Oh, get him, Finley. Get him. He's such oh, an hey. obnoxious prick, oh. isn't he? Nope. That was pretty naughty. I love little things like that. Showing off the fist. Like, I'll use it. I will use it, even though it's not traditional. You're not supposed to use the uh, fist when you're, um, obviously, because you're not allowed to close fist punches, or at least you're not supposed to be. Because it happens all the time. She's so good at getting hate this one. She's fantastic. Straight to the middle, like a proper face should. I'm ready to go. I don't know what Phil is complaining about. Get on with it, you tarts. Boo-hoo. <laughs> We've only got 180 no seconds around. No don't want to waste it. Exactly. You got to get your shit in, Finlay. <laughs> Can you imagine if AEW tried to do this concept right now? It'd be like five billion flips per round. Yeah, that's because... Fuckboy company. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck boy, company. Uh, I'm pretty sure the cough is, is theoretically supposed to cover what I'm saying when it's offensive, but I don't actually care. So, uh... It's ironic you say that, because right now that's exactly what Johnny's saying and Finley are doing with that. With that uh, look, see? Look like how the arms are around his mouth. Very clever. Fighter! So, yeah, but it's so simple. All he's going for is that key lock. And... Like that kind of grip, and it's oh, I love stuff like that because nobody ever does that anymore. Nobody actually wrestles anymore. Again, oh mate, snaps him over and beautifully rolls through. So smooth. Come on, Finley, don't be a bitch. That's the strength. Let's go. Not that I'd ever call Fifth Finley a bitch to his face. He'd murder me. Yeah, fucking right. Beautiful drop. Hey! 
Mate, Finley, oh, seriously, Finley is the master of the front flip bump. It's so beautiful. Oh! I'm waiting to see Johnny Saint do some of that, uh, you know, the finger snapping that Pete Dunn does. I think that'd be pretty sick to see. It's very good, though, because he's building up heat as the crowd are like, get on with it, stop being a pussy. Simple and effective. Shows that you don't have to be constantly talking, constantly doing flashy shit. All you gotta do is make the crowd believe you're an arsehole. That's it. I'm loving the referee. One -na. One -na. <laughs> it One He is brilliant. He sounds like um you've played Bioshock, haven't you? You know when you go to the ammo machines and he goes, No, it sounds just like that. Yep. Brilliant. <laughs> He's looking at his right hand. Oh, he's going to do a spin a rooney. That's what I was expecting. Anytime you see him look at their hand like that. Well, for a spin a rooney in, you know, like 1985 or whatever year this could be. You see that? It just wasn't a stat. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, mate. Right on the bell. Oh, my God. Oh. It's, it's like. It's like. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh hey, that was after the bell. Well, oh, that was no. well after the bell. Ironically enough, on NXT UK this week, nine and a half faced um, Nathan Fraser, who used to be Ben Carter, and uh, he took a cheap shot at after the bell. And, you know, they really made a big deal out of it. That's disgraceful, that's breaking the rules, blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of like, it's weird because obviously back then it's like, haha, the cheeky face got one in after the bell. Whereas now it'd be like, dust. Oh, well, he was like looking at the rest, like, oh man, I'm sorry. You know, my sincerest apologies. Lots of really out rest. <laughs> if I go on like NXT UK social media, I see Johnny Saint kicking off about that, I'm going to send him a clip of that and be like, oh, really, Mr. Saint? <laughs> really? Yeah. Mr. Facey Face. Oh, did he just get a chicken little kiss? He did. I love it. Ref, just toss the road. It's not like we haven't kicked them off land before. Can I just say, I love the fact that it's the corner guy has been there. She's got the tarot the Every time she gets down off the apron, he like lends his hands out. But I watch him. Right to the stomach. Oh, boot right to the face. Referee only suspicious of it. The, re Hello. The, or the commentator, anytime you hear him, just kind of sounds like he's calling a chess match. It's like it does so that, calm it does and collected. Yeah. A bit like Stu Grizzly. And now we take on the fifth pot for the black. <laughs> oh. Oh. I like that. I really like the pacing of this. Because of the rounds, it's kind of easier. Like the kind of the present Japan style where you can slowly just build it up and up. But the the crescendo, you, get that, yeah. you get that big old. Mm. Mm. I love how the refs give it out to him. Give him the business. Beautifully dressed referee, bow tie and shirt as always. Oh, there it is, the European uppercut. Ooh. Oh, that's very clever. Oh, yeah, it was definitely open hand. Definitely on. So good. Seriously, if you're a budding wrestler and you're not watching stuff like this to learn about simple technicalities and psychology, you're doing yourself a massive disservice. I mean, I'm, I'm a nobody in wrestling, but I'd be, the, I'd be the first person to say, watch this stuff over anything you would see in modern day, like wrestling, TV, and AEW. Even something like that about body drive, it feels more real. It feels more physical. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. That's the advantage of having the, the flat turn buckle. Oh, big shoulder tackle. Oh, hello. Hayes has picked up here. Oh, look how crisp he picked him up. Oh, my God. That Samoa drop was... Oh. Did he get him? He got him. Got him. One fall. Pinned him with, you know, grab the inside leg or just something you don't see too, too often now. Look at Pauline. She's peacocking around. Ladies and gentlemen, it's round three, and the opening fall for this contest to the red corner, Fit Finley. 
keep showing off the water. He's fantastic. Anyone wondering why Fit Finley has for so long been in charge of doing things like road agency and stuff of that nature, that's why. Because of that quality of wrestling. Do you think that's Hornswoggle's mum? I really hope not, because the insinuation was that Vince McMahon was the one who banged um, Finley's partner, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look. look at them lifting those ropes up so high, just going, mm, yeah, look at my tries as I lift this rope. Look at Saints still selling the fact that he's winded for the Zaman drop. I love that. Finley in the tights and Shamrocks in the front there on the left. Okay, Johnny Satan was a proper specimen back in the day, wasn't he? What a handsome devil he was. The kind of man you buy a Mars bar from. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, I just imagine him being a shopkeep, you know? And just being, you know, the kind of shopkeep who would be genuinely honest and sell you a proper priced Mars bar. I mean, he kind of looks like the uh, Or whatever the you guys call them. No, he just looks like the the candy man from the uh the, like the fucking convenience store in the first Willy Wonka, like the original. Yeah, that's a classic. See, that's a problem. He looks like I'm... he could be singing the candy man can. Probably came around. It came out around this time. <laughs> oh. When is this match? Does this match have a date? Um, I didn't see it in the script. This time yeah, so. Johnny Sanders head head to head on yet another action-packed edition of World of Sport. I'm willing to bet it's probably early 80s, I want to say. I would say, like, mid to late 80s, probably. Yeah, possibly, actually. I'm probably doing them a massive disservice. Because they're not ancient, yes, they are. Oh, the roll-up. Beautiful. There it is. That seemed like an incredibly fast count. I feel like, come on, you can't do it. Oh, oh right! That's got to be a disqualification. That's a closed fist. Referee. Oh, no, that's round four. And it's an equaliser that goes to Johnny An equaliser. You can tell that they're football fans, can't you? Brilliant. Oh, look at the... I love it. You always get the old ladies in the front row. Give it off, Johnny! Great speed as Johnny came off there. Side, missed. Oh, look at that. Oh, the most devastating move in all of Sparta. Yeah, she's got that phone on. <laughs> really a great one. I love this. It's so honest and so ridiculous. By the way, how can they, they can cut the replays, no problem. So what's your excuse, Tony Khan? Oh, I'm Finley. Oh, she's not happy with him. <laughs> she's, she's got oh. it. The fact that he holds the rope for is adorable. And he's done it in so many different ways. Yeah, I know he's that. This time he's gripped the Oh! Oh, dear. The cold shoulder. Oh, dear. We've had many of those in our time, haven't we, Mr. Wilkins? And let's be fair. I don't even get the cold shoulder anymore. I just get the, uh, oh, you exist? Sorry. You get the cold swipe. <laughs> Left swipe? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my life, dude. You sound like such an old man. Come on, Finley. Come on, Saint. None of this Tinder nonsense. Oh, Gump the International. Oh, no. Oh, my Ooh. God. That was... Oh, my God. Cream. Absolute cream. You can see that a drop kick, Okada drop kick who? Wanking themselves off over a carder. Right? Fucking Johnny Saints. So, oh, look at that. This does not hit, buddy. Oh, now you're slow counting, aren't you? Because it's the third ball, you cheeky digit. Oh, he's begging off. Oh. <laughs> That's such a Ric Flair moment. No, no sir, please, sir. Oh, Shoot for the legs, mate. Oh, look. Nah, don't do it, Johnny. He's from Belfast. Never trust that open hand. I love all Might of be. our Irish and Northern Irish friends. Follow with... Might follow up with the shillelagh. I love your attempt at that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what are you talking about? That was just me saying words normal. Look at that. Back back Lovely. It's like he's key locked a hammerlock. But, I was going to say, it's kind of like a hammerlock there, because it just kind of reminded me of, an, of Andrade in there. Oh, hello, he's got him again. He's on the right. He's on the right. He's on the right. Come on. Come on. Uh, I mean, it just feels a bit more real, doesn't it? It just feels quite real. You feel like almost like you're watching very technically gifted amateur wrestling. 
Oh! oh. <laughs> Until he does that. Oh. I love the double palm stance. Whoa! Yeah, he jumped straight over it, just landed on his feet. He didn't even, like, use the apron. Mate, Finley is the man. Oh, she's not happy about that. But you can't be nice to him now. You're getting the cold shoulder a minute ago. Get your shit together, Finn. Oh, 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 oh was that by the hair? Chris. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's taking on the, he's taking on the crossbody. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Let's go, Johnny. One na. <laughs> Again with the Finley, oh. mate. I can't do a flip bump properly, even now. I know I'm a huge guy, but still, I'm watching it. I'm like Finley, mate. They could just all look like shit here, bro. Oh, Johnny, get him. Johnny Saint from Fellsworth. Johnny Saint looks like. Oh, oh hey. He went for the cheap shot. Oh, look out. Wait. Didn't the round end? It did. Oh, he's got the close fist. Oh, Paul is like, no, no. Oh, he took the cheap shot. He took advantage of it. Oh. He's breaking down, Marl. Oh, he doesn't have knee pads, bro. He's off the road. Do you see oh. that? The road. He's just shut up. What do you think you're doing? He's going crazy. At the beginning of round six, Superman is our fan. Trying That was his yeah. second and final warning, so three strikes and you're out. Which is very weird. Because in wrestling, if you won't release the hole... What happened then? Uh, that's unlucky finish to Johnny Saint there. It was just a question of how illegally it was put on. It was very, Did very quick indeed. I'm not sure. It looks like he may have tapped. Because the bell rang pretty quickly after, so I didn't know whether that was to finish the match or to signify the end of the round, but they just ended the other round. Was indeed the winning call a submission? It was. He's very fit. You listen to me. Princess Pollard keeps me clear. I eat British wrestlers. I eat British wrestlers. And I spit them out. I eat British Come wrestlers, on, Johnny, don't take that. and I spit them out. That was fucking amazing. There you go, Mr. Wilkinson. That is what I'm talking about when I talk about the traditional style of European wrestling and world of sport. What did you think of that? Because that was on every Sunday on ITV when I was a little kid. I was into that. Like I've always liked Finley, so I, I was just really excited. I, you know, like I said, I'd heard of Johnny Saint, but didn't really know anything. But that was. Other than the end, which kind of just happened like that, it caught me off guard. But up yeah. until that, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, there's um, it, it's kind of weird actually because obviously in the Big Daddy match where that kind of really abrupt finish as well, didn't you? It was like the the, the fastest ten mm -hmm. count in the history of wrestling. But I was amazed by the technicalities of it. Like I've seen so many of those matches, but I think where we're consistently watching WWE, AEW, Impact, you know, all these different products every week, like we are getting to sit down and watch something like that reminds me how special and how underutilized and underappreciated proper technical wrestling is in this day and age. I know Japan uses it to a certain extent, but even then I don't feel like they do it that smoothly and that purely. That is the most purest form of professional wrestling I think I've ever seen. And that is why people used to believe in it. That's why people used to think it was real because watching that, you believed that they were legitimately trading holds, trying to get an advantage on each other. It looked like they were legitimately trying to wrestle, not sports entertain, so to speak. And yeah, I what a masterpiece, mate. Masterpiece. And also you can see why Finley is the daddy. <laughs> he really is. Also, I love that little promo on the end. I just hate British wrestlers, essentially. He's like, <laughs> yeah, fuck yous. Even though he's technically, I believe, from Northern Ireland, but still um let's not get into that because that could cause a lot of friction ultimately but yeah any final thoughts mr wilkinson no i'm just excited to get some more world of sport on this yeah. educate myself a little you know oh yes you can't go if you're a proper wrestling fan and you're watching world of sport you're not doing many things wrong in your life it really is master and it's lovely to know that it's all available it's just there on youtube so you know don't just watch our stuff guys go and watch your own but ultimately if there's anything like i said at the top of the show if there's anything you'd like us to cover 
Leave it in the comments below. Tell us what the match is. We'll find it. We'll source it. And we'll also put it on the video. And one thing I'm really loving about the watch along format is the fact that you can actually watch it. It's right here next to us. So you can watch it. You haven't got to go away and find it and then put our audio on in the background. It's right there for you. Everything's in one neat package. I've been Aaron Nix. He's been Carl Wilkinson. And we'll catch you very soon for more WrestlePlug watch alongs on the WrestlePlug YouTube channel.